What are trivial benefits and how can I use them in my property company? Hi, I'm Kimberly Shapcock, qualified chartered accountant, property investor and entrepreneur. Let's sit down and have a chat. Let's talk about trivial benefits. What are they? How can we make use of them in our property business? So a trivial benefit is basically something that we have given to an employee that is trivial in nature. So what are the rules and regulations in terms of what is classified as trivial? So the starting point is it's not more than 50 pounds. Anything under this mat and HMRC aren't too fussed about because it's not worth the time to actually have to deal with it. It isn't cash or a cash voucher. And this is quite crucial because if it is cash or a cash voucher, then these go through the payroll and they will need to be reported and the appropriate tax and national insurance included on it. So not cash or a cash voucher. It isn't a reward for performance of their job. And also it isn't in the terms of their contract. So they're not contractually obliged to receive this trivial benefit. The positive of something being classified as a trivial benefit is there's no tax and there's no national insurance to take into consideration on anything of this nature. Now, this could be something like a hamper, it could be a bunch of flowers, it could be a bottle of wine, it could be some chocolates. It's all these small things that every so often we just kind of gift to our team or our employees or to the directors, which we will cover in more detail in a second. So it's anything like this, whether you do Easter eggs, whether you do advent calendars, everything like this would fall potentially within the trivial benefits segment of the tax rules. One thing to be very aware of is that if the benefit, the gift, whatever it may be, doesn't fall within these rules, then there may be tax to pay. You can phone up the employer helpline to ask whether it would fall into a taxable benefit or whether it falls into the trivial be benefit if you are not certain. The final thing to mention on this quite short video today is how this has an impact for directors. So you may have a property company, however, you've not got any employees, so there's just the directors in the company. How can you make use of the trivial benefits rules how can you not exceed what you're allowed to do? Now, as directors, you are an employee or an officer of the business, so you may be able to get some trivial benefits from the company. However, obviously HMRC aren't going to just let you go and take hundreds, thousands of pounds worth of trivial benefits, so you might get a hamper a month, which is probably a little excessive, and they look at it and go, no, that, that's just kind of taking the mix. So what they have done is put some special rules in for directors of companies. And this has been set by setting an actual limit. So for directors, they can't receive trivial benefits of more than 300 pounds. But that does mean in a tax year, you can receive trivial benefits of up to 300 pounds. Now, this is the case whenever you are part of a close company. A close company is a company that is run by five or fewer shareholders. They don't have to be connected in any way. They're just five or fewer shareholders. So if there's only two, three, four of you, you will be classified as a close company, which therefore means you will be required to fall within this 300 pounds limit. This is a great limit because it does mean that there is an extra way of taking a few extra items out of your company tax efficiently. Hopefully today you've discovered what trivial benefits are, how you can use them, and what you can be taking out of your company in a tax efficient manner. If you have any questions or comments, then please do leave them in the comments box. Please like the video and please do subscribe to the channel. Let's make tax less taxing.
Let's make tax less taxing.